Lake Mead has drawn boaters, fishermen, and outdoor enthusiasts from all over the United States for nearly a century. However, the lake has lost nearly 6 trillion gallons of water since 2000, and the receding waterline has exposed everything from a Mormon settlement to a World War II-era landing craft. But in recent years, something even more interesting and perplexing has been turning up with surprising regularity. Human remains. Remains have been found in Lake Mead near Las Vegas. This is the fourth body found at Lake Mead since May. Police have speculated that more remains may still be found as the water level at Lake Mead continues to recede. Lake Mead began forming on the Nevada Arizona border when construction of the Hoover Dam was completed in 1935. As one of the Works Progress Administration's crown jewels, the project put thousands of Americans back to work during the days of the Great Depression. After completion, the dam in the lake electrified great swaths of the southwest, provided water to the growing desert cities like Phoenix, Las Vegas and Los Angeles, and helped get the country's struggling economy back on its feet. As the largest reservoir in the United States, its shores stretched 750 miles and contained more than 28 million acre feet of water. To put that into perspective, one acre foot equals around 325,000 US gallons or 1,230 cubic meters of water. And thanks to a multi-decade mega drought, the lake is now a mere shadow of its former self, and its receding water levels have produced some interesting and even sinister finds. In 2001, a dive team located the wreck of a B-29 flying fortress in the Overton arm of Lake Mead. Stripped of its armaments in 1947, the aircraft was part of the Upper Atmosphere Research Project. Tasked with developing an intercontinental ballistic missile guidance system that used the sun for direction and positioning. However, on the 21st of July 1948, while flying just 300 feet or 91 meters above the surface of the lake, glare from the water and a faulty altimeter disorientated the pilots and they slowly descended until skimming the lake and crashing. Miraculously, the five-man crew escaped mostly unharmed into a life raft. They were rescued from the lake six hours later. While this is one of the more benign discoveries from within the lake, in more recent times, things have taken a darker turn. On the 1st of May 2022, the Lake Mead corpse saga began when two people stumbled upon a barrel on the lake's edge near Hemingway Harbour. While a washed up barrel would typically be unremarkable, upon closer inspection, it contained the skeletal remains of a human body. Our big story at 10, the water levels are so low that a barrel appeared, a barrel with a body inside. The Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department has confirmed the remains are human. The person had a gunshot wound and had likely been in the barrel since the late 1970s or early 80s. While it goes without saying that bodies in barrels draw police attention, authorities for the time being had no idea who the victim was. However, according to Lieutenant Ray Spencer with the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department, the victim's clothes and shoes were sold at Kmart in the mid to late 1970s. The saga deepened on May the 7th, this time in the Colville Bay area when two paddleboarders noticed what they initially thought to be a rock near the waterline. However, on further inspection, they realized they had discovered more human remains. This was now the second set of remains found in Lake Mead in just six days. While the discovery of two separate bodies within a week caught the nation's attention, police did not believe they were related, with the first clearly homicide and the second a little less clear. 
On July the 25th, the saga continued when a man walking the shores near Boulder Beach made a startling discovery. The partially submerged midsection of a human skeleton. Bones found on August 6th and 16th were determined to have the same origin. This was now the third set of human remains found in three months. On the 24th of August, police formally identified the second set of remains found near Colville Bay back on May 7th as Thomas Ernt, putting a 20-year mystery to rest. On the night of August 2nd, 2002, 42-year-old Thomas Ernt was swimming in Lake Mead with his sister, two children, and a friend. His sister described how they all jumped in the water, but her brother never surfaced and was never seen again. Now identified as the remains found in Corville Bay on May 7th, his family, after 20 years, finally had closure. And while one mystery had been solved, that of the body in the barrel and the remains found in July at Boulder Beach remained unsolved. Amazingly, human remains had not yet finished showing up at Lake Mead. On the 17th of October, divers in the Corville Bay area found a human bone near the shore while exploring. Bones found the following day by authorities were confirmed to be that of the same person. However, just like the previous remains found in the Corville Bay area, these two would shortly be identified. On the 28th of March 2023, authorities using DNA analysis identified this most recent find as 39-year-old Las Vegas man Donald Smith who went missing while on the lake in 1974. On the 26th of April 2023, authorities made another breakthrough in the Lake Mead body saga when they identified the third set of remains found near Boulder Beach the previous July as then 52-year-old Claude Russell Penzinger. Penzinger went missing while fishing on the lake back in July of 1998. Three of the four sets of remains had now been identified, but the person inside the barrel remained a mystery. Although the body in the barrel is yet to be identified, there are several educated theories to discuss. As previously mentioned, based on the victim's clothing, Las Vegas police think the murder occurred during the 1970s, a rather violent time for mafia hit jobs in Nevada. Jeff Schumacher of the Mob Museum in Las Vegas believes it's one of three people. William Crespo, who turned state informant before disappearing. George J. Vandermark, a slot machine operator who double-crossed the mob. Or Schumacher's leading candidate, Johnny Pappas, a veteran Las Vegas casino host. Admittedly, there are some circumstantial evidence loosely supporting the Pappas theory. On the 18th of August 1976, Johnny Pappas said goodbye to his wife before leaving to meet two men wanting to buy his boat, which was parked on Lake Mead. His wife Cheryl said her husband went to the JoJo's restaurant on Las Vegas Boulevard to negotiate the deal, but never came home. Professor Michael Green, a history teacher at the University of Nevada, whose father was a blackjack dealer back in the day, agrees with the Pappas theory. Based on the arguments being made about Johnny Pappas by people I think highly of, I could see it. As the sun sets on Lake Mead, its receding shores have revealed a haunting reminder of its past, a testament to nature's unforgiving power and man's brutality. More than 300 people have drowned within its waters and more chilling discoveries may await. Let me know your thoughts on today's video. And do you have your own theory on the identity of the victim in the barrel? And as always, thanks for watching.